it's time to review Brothers MFC J4440 DW, the ink vestment tank printer, which has been spoken a lot about because of this big writing here up to one year of ink in the box, so, which is a very, very bold call. And basically, Brother says the ink vestment tank allows it to dry less quickly and all this other fancy tech to give you 2,600 pages of black and almost 2,000 of color straight out of the box. So let's unbox it, take a look how it is, and see how it goes. Now, when you open the box, first thing you'll see is, let's go from the most boring over here with ethernet cable. Wow, haven't seen one of those in a while. And more boring stuff that you're not gonna use at all. So let's put that to the side. Followed by your power cable, which you will need, of course. And, and then here are your ink bottles, your ink vestment. Now this uses the LC436 which comes in normal and XL size. So XL costs a bit more, but it lasts longer. There's uh, your, that. And then they are your three colors, your black, and there are your inks. Hiding underneath is the printer itself. So give me a moment to pull it out and we can set it up. Now this comes with a quick setup guide which says unpack the machine and check the components. Load plain A4 paper in the paper tray, fair enough. Fan the paper well and load it in the tray. Slowly push, yes we know how to load paper. Thank you brother. Connect the power cord, install the ink cartridges, check the print quality, adjust the print alignment if you want to do that. And does this open? Follow the LCD instructions to configure the machine settings, select your language, connect the telephone line cord if you want to use it as a fax, connect your computer or mobile device, which we will show you how to do and then or you can do manual wireless setup. So wireless is what we're going to be doing, which we presume most people will be. So we will set it up that way. And not my language. Okay, so now that we have set it up, I've plugged it in. I'm just showing you the screen to do the, it's making noises, to do the installation of the ink. Now here it says you have to quickly shake just the black ink horizontally 15 times as shown before inserting it. So I probably should do it in the bag. So And now we're going to install. Open. Ah, oh, it tells me here quickly shake, quickly shake the ink. Insert the ink cartridge and push it forward until it clicks. Which one? So there's the black. Click. It says, filling the ink reservoir with ink from cartridge one. Preparing the ink will take four minutes. So while it's doing all that ink setup, we can essentially prepare the rest of the details. So it took about five minutes to set up, not even, maybe two to three minutes. And after that, it will just print this automatically. It says, check that the dotted lines forming the four color blocks are all visible with no gaps. If streaks are still visible, you can correct the paper feed. 
Now, if you want to go through with the adjustment, it prints out this adjustment sheet. It takes about a minute to print it out. And what it says, you have to place the sheet on the scan glass. Make sure the black circle is in the upper left corner of the scan glass. Yep, I would say put it in the corner in the upper limits because you can see it has two marks here, A4 and A4 that generally align there. And we are going to hit start. Okay, and that's all. We are now completed the print alignment. So you can do it later if you want. Now, next step is to connect your computer or mobile device. Okay, uh, and that's it. You don't need the internet, but I'm going to connect it wirelessly so then I can connect to the app. So I've got the app downloaded, but let's just go through this screen beforehand. You have fax, copy, scan. You have your ink down the bottom, ink volume. Go back, ink cartridge model. It tells you what the cartridge is. Then we have improved print quality lines fades. So you can check the print quality, the alignment and correct the paper feed to reduce the vertical lines. What else can you do? You have print options, reduce smudging and enhance print off and on. And ink cartridge check, which will go through all the inks. You also have a little tools button, which will, there are a lot of options here. You have maintenance, which is what we had before. Tray setting, paper type, paper size, check paper. Wi-Fi direct, manual, push button, pin code. We will do that in a moment. Network, uh, we will do Wi-Fi, wi obviously, as most people will. No, no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna go through the settings first. Fax preview, I don't need a fax. And then all settings. Network, print reports, machine info. There's more if you're really interested in any of that. General setup. Anyway, and you can add shortcuts. Oh, that's very cool. You can choose your pages. One, two, three, which is great. So you have fax, copy, scan, web, apps. This feature requires the internet. We'll connect to the internet and look at apps after. And USB, because there is a USB port here. So let's go to Wi-Fi, find Wi-Fi network. I will enable wireless LAN. It will search for the SSIDs. Now I've just skipped ahead so you don't see my password and so on, but you click your network, you put the password in. The keyboard on here is actually quite responsive. It is a bit small if you have some stubby fingers, but it is capacitating. Now, we're in, we have Wi-Fi. Print Creative Center templates, online functions, cloud secure print, scan to mobile, scan to searchable PDF. That's great. That's text recognition, which is really, really useful. Scan to mobile, enlarge, scan to PowerPoint, scan to Excel, scan to Word. Gosh, there are a lot of apps here. I'm really rating that. So yeah, that's it. Now that is a screen. There's a lot of options there, a lot of customizability in such a small display. Now the reason I connected to the internet was to use the app. There's a lot of options from this app. You can print a document on your device, there's a photo print, so it'll just open up all of your photos. A copy, which it allows you to place the document if in the automatic document theater or the, and decide what you want to do. And the good thing about that is you can save it onto your cloud and so on. So we can go through that. Maintenance, you can check the print quality. There's basically all the options you can do from the screen, you can do from the app. And then scan, which is really great. Now I'm going to do a scan on this device. We're going to scan. I just straight away, the moment I hit scan, it was just scanning from the automatic document feeder. Comes back out. 12 seconds later. There we go. Now, it shows you the pages. You can add pages or hit done. Now that it's done, I can choose JPEG or PDF, which is fantastic. I can even edit it. So being 
the genius that I am, I put the wrong side in, hooray. I can rotate it, angle it, even touch it up a bit. Let's just go with that and let's click share slash save. Now that's the great thing here. You can save to your clouds, copy it, airdrop it, message, Dropbox, everything straight from here, which is the best thing if you want it immediately on Dropbox, you just scan it straight from the computer, straight from the computer, straight to the computer from the printer. So I'm going to click X and that is the app. It's really efficient, really easy to use. And that's the thing I love about it. Maybe if you don't want to run to the printer, you can just do it straight from your phone. But regardless, the screen itself and the printer has been really great. Now, a quick summary after using this printer for a little while is that it has been really reliable. And that's the one thing I have struggled with many printers in the past. Obviously, it is still new, but the ink vestment tank has been doing a good job. The printing is pretty decent. It's not the most crazy highest quality photo printing that you might get. However, the ink vestment does come with a lot of ink in the tank. For office printing, it's really reliable and it does come with a heap of ink in the box. These ink vestment printers and the ink vestment tanks, it, they say they give you up to one year in the box, which is up to 2,500 pages of printing. I've done a fair bit of printing in the first few months and it hasn't really gone down that much. So it looks like they are accurate in saying that it does come with a lot of ink. These ink vestment tanks supposedly dry less quick, which allows them to last longer as opposed to many other inkjet printers. The scanning is very reliable for the automatic document feeder, as well as the glass scanner. I had no problems with them. Printing speeds of up to 20 pages per minute, two-sided duplex up to 11 pages per minute. So it does have duplex, which is good to know. It has Wi-Fi and wireless, NFC, e Ethernet, and USB. So you can scan to your USB if you want to as well. The tray has a paper capacity of up to 150 sheets. And overall, it's just done its job really well. The one thing I wanted was a reliable printer, something that could connect wirelessly. I could print, scan, copy, all those things, and also save to the cloud. That's something I was really excited about is I can scan and save directly to the cloud as opposed to going to a USB. You can even use your phone, maybe take, take some photos, photocopy them. It's a really good app overall, really intuitive and really simple. It's just really good to use. And one thing I'll end on is that Brother offers two years return to base warranty, as opposed to many of the other competitors which only provide one year. So it's good to know that Brother has faith in their products and overall i am happy with this so i would recommend it they are a little bit more expensive these ink investment tanks but if you do the math and you are printing a fair few pages you want something for your home office even a small office that's doing a decent amount of printing but maybe you don't want to go for a laser because of how much toner costs <laughs> this is a perfect middle ground you know you spend about 120 dollars australian 150 dollars Australian for you know, all four inks, but they will last you at least a year, two years if you go for the XL, just on a standard amount of printing. That's the thing, the cost per sheet is much lower. So I'm very happy with this. The only real downside is the blandness of the design, but it's a printer, I don't really care. I'm not here to look at it. I'm here for it to do its job. So well done to brother. I'm excited to use this long term and hopefully will last and not break down like many other printers that i've had so thanks for watching if you've made it this far hopefully this was of some help drop any questions below as we're using it we can answer anything that you might want to ask if you're curious about getting this printer or another ink investment or similar type of printer and please subscribe to the channel helps us a lot and we'll see you in the next video peace